If you're like me, you bought your new Canon camcorder for a variety of reasons. For great family videos, sports shots, vacation memories. A great camcorder that's easy to use. In this video, we're going to show you some of the features of your new Canon camcorder and talk about how to use them. I think you'll be amazed at what this little electronic package can do and how it'll improve the videos you shoot. This 8mm camcorder has extraordinary features only available from Canon. But what makes this camcorder really stand out is its ability to edit videos. That's right. Along with your home VCR, your camcorder can take out all the mistakes, like the times you left the camcorder rolling and shot the ground, the hour-long birthday party that really ought to be three minutes. You know what I'm talking about, the mistakes we all make. Now they can be corrected with your camcorder. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Like I said, I want to show you some of the cool things on your camcorder, and then we'll talk more about editing. This camcorder focuses automatically. All you have to do is point it, and whatever's in the center of the viewfinder will usually be in sharp focus. And you also have a feature which gives you complete control over focusing called FlexiZone. FlexiZone lets you pinpoint a desired area of focus or exposure anywhere within the viewfinder. The lever on the rear of the camcorder controls a small white frame in the viewfinder. The camcorder automatically adjusts the focus to suit the area covered by the frame. FlexiZone is useful when your main subject is not in the center of the viewfinder, or when you shoot a moving subject, and when you want to smoothly shift focus from one subject to another. It solves the problem of the camcorder focusing on something other than what you want. Another advantage is gained by pressing the FlexiZone AE button. The picture brightness will be adjusted to suit the area covered by the frame. And the next time you see a professional TV crew shooting, take a quick look at the lens they've got on their camera. It's probably a Canon lens. Now you too can shoot just like the pros. They use it for the same reason you do. Plenty of power. It's great for wide angle and at full zoom extends your vision to any subject that cannot be quickly or closely approached. Your Canon camcorder may even allow you to increase the lens magnification if it incorporates a digital zoom. And you know, in a perfect world, there would always be a tripod nearby, but usually not on the playground or at the Little League park. So what do you do? Hold your breath and hope the camcorder doesn't shake? Or use Canon's revolutionary optical image stabilizer. It stabilizes your images even at the furthest reaches of the zoom range. You'll automatically record smooth, steady images that you'll really appreciate during playback. Your Canon camcorder has a high-resolution LCD color viewfinder, which offers a big advantage over an ordinary black and white one. The viewfinder on your camcorder makes it easier to distinguish and follow a subject by color while shooting. Your Canon camcorder may also include a variety of digital effects for greater visual impact and expanded usefulness. And if you've shot any videos yet, You've no doubt noticed the fullness of the sound on your videos. That's because of the stereo microphone that adds depth and realism to what you're shooting. Your camcorder has six recording programs that provide for outstanding images for most of what you'll be shooting. Just turn the dial to select the program that matches the situation. Easy. This is the simplest way to use the camcorder for most situations for point and shoot operation. FlexiZone. This is similar to easy recording, but now you can select the area of focus and exposure and use the camera's manual functions. Sports. This program is useful for recording sports scenes or fast action under bright light. Portrait. Use this program outdoors to keep the main subject in focus and soften the background. Spotlight. This program is designed for shooting subjects on a stage under bright lights. Sand and snow. Well, of course, you use this program on a sunny beach or while skiing. The Canon 8mm camcorder is so compact that it seems like not much more could fit inside, but there is more. 
a titling system that lets you write messages on your videos with the touch of a few buttons. And when you're busy shooting, you don't want to worry about where the controls are located on the camcorder, so Canon created two custom keys that can be programmed to operate any two of 16 features that you'll use most often. No need to search for function controls because they're always right underneath your fingertips. When you're using the playback feature on your 8mm camcorder, you'll really appreciate the remote control that's supplied with it. Trust me, it's easier to fast forward or stop the camcorder from across the room. And even better, it operates the camcorder while you're recording too. And before we talk about the editing feature, let me just mention the manual shutter. It lets you control the shutter speed so you can shoot the swing of a baseball bat, tennis racket, or golf club clearly. Now, let's discuss what separates the Canon camcorder from many others. It's the ability to keep the good and throw away the bad. And believe me, I've got miles of bad. Tape is so boring, nobody's ever going to watch it. But until now, I didn't have the equipment to cut the boring parts out. Your camcorder changes all that. Let's first talk about what editing is. And then I want to show you some video I shot of my family in the park and how I was able, with the help of the camcorder, to turn a full day of shooting into a nice, entertaining video that we enjoy watching. OK, editing. This videotape that you're watching was edited. We shot for nearly three days, believe it or not, to create the short program you're watching right now. Every movie, TV show, and commercial made is extensively edited. Hollywood shoots hours of film and tape for every minute you see on the screen. They take out the boring parts, the mistakes, the parts before and after the action happens. Why should you be any different from Hollywood? Shoot all you want, but only show the good stuff. After all, in shooting, you only collect the footage. It's in the editing that you create the video. Here's an easy way to understand editing. Look at this short piece of tape. It starts out okay, but now here's stuff that, well, we don't want seen. And then it finishes up all right. So why not cut out the middle? Let's look at it again. This time we'll darken the part we're going to cut out. Here it is, good part. This we cut out, and we save the end. But you can't cut videotape the way you could film. What you do is you transfer only the good parts to another tape in a VCR. You start the VCR when you want to transfer the good parts and pause the VCR to avoid transferring the bad parts. So now, let's look at the results of our test by doing just that. Now, doesn't that look better? Well, of course it does. How can you do it with this camcorder? Well, we're going to show you how, with the help of my family and the tape that we shot in the park. Take a look. Hi. Hi. Hi, Grandma. Believe me, that was a great day, one that we want to remember, but nobody wants to watch all the tape shot, including my family. You can see what I mean. Now, let's go in there and cut out some of the mistakes and crummy footage. And don't feel bad if some of your video looks like that. You want to concentrate on having a good time and not on struggling to make award-winning videos. The camcorder lets you correct lots of things afterwards. Now, here are the things you'll need before you can do any edits. First, your home VCR with a blank video cassette. Second, your Canon camcorder with the footage you'll be editing. Third, power source, a battery pack or AC power adapter. Fourth, supplied audio video cable, sometimes known as an RCA cable. Fifth, supplied wireless remote control. 
You'll need to teach your Canon camcorder to talk to your home VCR. And it's simple to do. Just go into the menu and set the code that matches your VCR. There's a list of codes in the instruction manual, and no doubt yours is listed there. For instance, the brand of my VCR is assigned code number 14. So I'll set the recorder select feature in the menu to 14. Now the camcorder will operate similar to your VCR's remote control, starting and stopping the VCR when you tell it to. Before we begin editing, I suggest that you watch your video footage in its entirety and create a list of shots with a short description of each scene and the time counter number that identifies where the scene starts and stops. This will help you organize your footage and locate the good scenes quickly and easily while editing. Now, let's do some editing. At the end of this tape, you'll find some footage that has both good stuff and bad that will allow you to practice cutting out the bad. Set the program selector to edit and you'll see a menu appear on the TV screen. Notice that the word set on the lower control bar is highlighted. Press play. To place a good scene in your program, press the execute button on the remote control at the point where you want the scene to start and at the point where you want the scene to end. Instead of using the controls on the remote control, the FlexiZone AE button on the camcorder corresponds to the execute button on the remote control. The four arrows surrounding the FlexiZone controller correspond to the four arrows on the remote control. The beginning of the scene is called the cut-in point, and the end is called the cut-out point. The display on your TV screen will now show you the time your scene begins. In this case, one minute, 20 seconds. The cut-in time and the time it ends, 1.35, the cut out time. You can program the auto editing function to remember up to eight different scenes in the same way. You can preview your edits by using the right arrow button on the remote to advance to the word preview on the lower control bar. The preview function plays all the selected scenes in the order they will appear on the final tape, automatically pausing at each cut in and cut out point to help editing. Or you can return to the lower control bar and use the remote to advance the highlight to start and actually begin editing. But before you advance to start, be sure the VCR is ready to record and on pause. The editing program starts when you press the execute button. The camcorder now will automatically record the scenes you selected onto the tape in the VCR. Let's see some of what we just edited. Now that your edits have been made, you can start the process over again and program up to eight additional edits into the memory. Simply highlight the word clear on the lower control bar to clear the previous eight edits and enter eight new ones. This is how you build your edited programs. As you watch your edited footage, you might notice your scenes are beginning slightly later than you had planned. It's because some VCRs are a little slow to start. So one more thing you may have to do before you edit, just this one time, is make an allowance for that delay so the beginning and end of your scenes don't get cut off. If you notice this, you can make an adjustment in the camcorder that will prevent this from happening. Your instruction manual suggests you record the face of a clock. We've pre-recorded one for you that appears at the end of this tape. Make an edit using the clock footage. Program the cut in point where the clock reads 12, and the cut out point when it reads 1201. Use the start function to record the scene to your VCR. Play the tape. If the scene starts two seconds after 12, you set the cut in adjust from the menu to minus 2.0. Follow the same procedure for the cut out adjust. You only have to adjust these numbers this one time, 
not every time you edit. Once you've learned the basic features of the auto editing function, then it's time to move on to the advanced features, such as changing the cut in and cut out points to improve your video program. You can delete a scene by choosing Delete on the lower control bar and highlighting the scene's cut in and cut out points, press the execute button on the remote control and the scene is deleted and the line is left blank. If you choose, a new scene can be inserted in this position. You can also move the scenes around and reorder the scenes to help you tell the story in a more orderly fashion. After you've programmed the edit points, you can change the order of the scenes simply by moving the cut in and cut out points to a different position. The other scenes will adjust themselves accordingly. Not only is the Canon camcorder easy to use, lightweight, and full of features, it will help you get videos that, thankfully, your family will want to watch. Take a look through your instruction manual before you get started. With the Canon 8mm camcorder and your home VCR, you can get started creating a home library of videos that you and your family will look at and cherish for years to come. And from all of us at Canon, thanks for watching this video. Oh, and by the way, keep this tape running for the practice footage and the pre-recorded clock. So long. Jason, so? Hey, Jason, go ahead. Go back. Nice. Oh, Jackie, shoot the other way. Okay, I'll make a U turn. Okay. <laughs> you got a good job.